What's up guys, it's me Omar from buymeaniphone.com. Today I have another uh, iPad mini product I want to show you. This is a case that was sent to me free for review from Kensington and is the Kensington protective cover and stand for the iPad mini. So it's basically like a folio style uh, case that you would keep your, your mini inside. It does a really good job of making, keeping it looking nice and sharp as well as protecting the screen and the back of the iPad mini. If you open it up, it has a nice soft interior on the inside, like a felt material. So the back of the iPad, or back of the iPad, iPad Mini is not going to be touching the, the plastic. And as you can see, the shell, the inner shell here is plastic. The outer shell is uh, like a leather material on the on the edge right there. I'm not sure if it's real leather or not, or if it's faux leather, but uh, either way, it feels real nice. It looks real sharp, and it holds up pretty well to like scratches or any kind of damage. I haven't, I've been using it for a little bit, and there's no kind of scratches or any kind of wear on it at all. So whatever the material is, it looks good, and it's holding up pretty well. And, to, and the, you can see the front almost has like a smart cover type of design with these rippled lines right here, so you can are able to roll it up and fold it to allow you to prop up the iPad mini in different uh, angles. So let's go ahead and pop in the iPad mini so I can show you all the accessibility. And basically the, Four corners is how it straps in and once it's in there it's not going to get out at all it's, it's actually pretty difficult to take out of it once it's snapped into place so i don't think it's going to accidentally pop out of here once it's in there so when it is in there you get to your headphone jack it's a nice big opening for that the microphone they're opening there large for that one there's a cutaway for the standby switch the uh, camera lines up perfectly on the back right there we have one big opening for the mute switch and the volume rockers right there up and down get to the bottom one big opening for the stereo speakers and for the lightning connector Slip it open. There is no uh, lay on the table design with this one here. There's, uh, the, as you can see, there's no lip on the edge. It's completely flush to the screen, which is kind of nice for tablets because you want to be able to run your finger completely across and not have anything like bumping in there or getting in the way, I guess. So uh, that is completely flush. Nothing covering up the home button and nothing covering up the camera. So that's pretty much all there is. It just snaps into the corners. And you do have this front flap here that keeps it closed and it stays right there. Now, one thing to keep in mind about this flap, it does not activate the screen when you open it up. As you can see, and there's no there's no magnets in here at all. So if you do hold it like so, it's gonna stay flapped open. There's nothing really keeping it cl uh, clasped clasped to the screen. So it just kind of just sits there. So when it's holding your hand, it's fine. When it's on its back, it's fine. But if it's upside down or on its side like that, it's gonna flap open like this. So nothing's keeping it on there. So when it is in here, you can uh, you can roll the back piece up here. You like to post it up into a couple different angles for typing, or if you want to watch a video. You can uh, roll it this way, and I'll allow you to prop it up for watching videos. And that's pretty much that. Um, so overall, it's a really nice case. It retails for $34.99, so pretty reasonably priced. I'm not sure, um, you know, I, I think the average person that's looking for something that's a little more executive, a little more, uh, a little more streamlined and nice for business, for work, uh, this probably be a pretty good case for that. Like I said, though, I wish there was some kind of a class for some, maybe the magnets to be in here to keep this flap closed because it kind of stays open. And I, th and I would think that after a while, after using these these flaps right here, uh, rolling them back constantly, it might cause them to be like a little, you know, stick up like that and not be completely flat all the time. Like I said, I've only used this for about a month or so. So, you know, that only, only time would tell when that, when, how, if that would be an issue or not for you. But uh, overall, it's a really good quality case and it's going to do a really good job of protecting your iPad mini. So if you guys want to learn more about this, you can go to kensington.com and they actually come in a, a couple of few other colors as well. And uh, I'll do my best to guys, if you have any questions, post those below and I'll do my best to get back to you and answer any of those questions you may have. And I'll post a link below to uh, check out this product on their website. So I will see you guys in the next video review.